I am now in a long trade on Bitcoin looking for higher prices to come. In this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly where I'm looking to take this trade to, the targets, the invalidation and stop loss and everything that you need to know about the market right now. So, of course, over the past few weeks, I have been making it extremely clear. Right, I am bearish. I am looking for lower prices to come. They will come on Bitcoin, you know, short and chill. That first, yeah, first major price. level that we had below us was that NPOC, right? 24.851. That has been our clear target that we've had to the downside as our first major level below the range low, which I was very adamant on getting taken out. Of course, we were starting to build up that triple bottom, one, two, three, all that time building liquidity. And it was finally taken yesterday with that quick move to the downside through our liquidity and coming down to around the NPOC. I want to spend one minute talking you through how I took that long and now why I am still long. I have not taken profit and I'm looking for higher to come. So really simply, we made our way down through those lows and we got a bit of a front run of our NPOC. So where I tell my team, we have the intraday setup now of a swing failure pattern onto the NPOC for the long trade. Yes, of that NPOC around 24800 ish right? So it's all coming together very nicely indeed. We knew about this NPOC. We've now got the intraday setup. So here I'm not long. I was also making it clear to my team. I'm still bearish at this point. I'm still in short trades. No longs for me yet. It's only if we come back down one more time for the SFP, I will take that long trade. It took a few hours, but it paid off. We come along, 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 and we got a swing failure pattern onto the NPOC. That's our intraday trade setup, long trade trigger. That's the entry as I confirmed to my team. I have now taken the long trade from the SFP. Others did too, and we are now looking for higher. Okay, from here we have our entry, we have our stop loss, which is now below this wick, and well, we're looking for higher to come, right? Boom, took another few hours, but we got higher to come. As mentioned, I have not hit my take profit one yet. I am still looking for higher here. Does that mean I am bullish? No, it actually doesn't mean I am bullish. I am just in a long trade. I still recognize the downtrend that we are in. We haven't seen a major sign of strength yet. But for now, you know, over the past 48 hours, uh, I've just took uh, one long trade. That was the long trade taking. And now I am looking for higher prices. And from there, I'll judge the reaction, right? So the next level simply above us that I'm looking at is this high. This is the high that I'm aiming for. So uh, from here, I'll be looking at, you know, simply two things that I'm going to tell you inside of this YouTube video. Option number one will simply be a breakout, right? Where we just break up here and we keep going upwards and upwards and upwards. Second choice is just as we've done at the low, a failed auction or swing failure pattern. If we get that, well, that's where I'll look for a take profit one on my long trade. And that's where I would then activate a new short trade for a little bit of that hedge trade. So for me, uh, it's, you know, very clear that I want to make to you in inside of this, this quick update. Okay. Um, we were very bearish. Indeed. We had clear targets on lower, very big bearish biases for weeks. Okay. Ever since we formed that first low, we were then bearish the whole time looking to short any rally for our target. We come down, we eventually hit the target, we get the entry trigger, trigger, we take the long, well, we're sat in profits. That has not currently been realized because we haven't hit any take profit yet. For now, we're looking for higher. We're looking for continuation to the upside. Next level above us will be this high for the mini range ISFP. If we don't get that, well, that's where we can look for further continuation. As always, a level to level game. So you can you know, be aware of those next levels that we have above us, level to level environment. But we now have had the patience from being very bearish, looking for lower to hit our target, to take the long, to now lock in a very nice opportunity that if we do continue to squeeze up or well, we're now in on that and able to profit from it. OK, this has been a quick update. As always, if you want to see more from myself and the rest of the team every single day, you have trading live stream updates. I've already done a live stream this morning. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to watch my more in-depth update from today, well, you can get that over on the website. More importantly, you have more live streams today. You have live trading streams. Uh, you have all the content for the educational side of things. So, yeah, if you want all of that, then that's what you can get via chartchampions.com. I'm going to just say that is it for me. I hope that you've really enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, that's me signing out. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.